Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors and in this video we're going to have a look at our task management and work counters that we can set up in our Cebus machines. So you now join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at some of the settings that we can make to getting our fuel recording and area recording set up correctly on these machines. Well firstly we have what's called task management on these machines. So if we pop into our task menu we see that we have 20 different tasks that we can have saved onto the machine at any one time. Within each one of these tasks we have the same bits of information that we can record. So for example if I look at task number one we see that we have bits of information like start and stop date, working width, duration and so on. But maybe the more interesting stuff is going to be the things like fuel consumption, consumption per time and consumption per surface. So how do we get these set up correctly? Well it's all in relation to what's included in our implements menu. In here we see we have a sub menu called in work counters. Firstly we see that we will want to set our implement width so maybe if we think about a cultivator for example and an Arian 600 style machine we might have a three meter implement on the back so we can set this to three meters. The next thing we would then want to do is tell the machine when we are starting to work and when we are stopping working so the machine knows when we are cultivating and when we have the implement lifted and turning on the headland for example. So rather than PTO maybe I would want my rear linkage position. So I can come in here and say I want to start counting when my rear hitch is in the working position and I want to stop counting when my rear hitch is in the upper position. This now knows when I use my linkage buttons for in and out of work on my C-Motion joystick it now knows to start and stop counting and as I am traveling it will count for three meters. This will then give me my hectares an hour and my liters a hectare which is the best form of area and fuel recording. At the end of the day I could then stop playing my task and that would give me a wrap up of my daily fuel usage. I could then reset all of these values if I so wished back to zero. So thank you for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And as always, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.